Yeah, it's great to, to be here in order to, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Newport Jazz Festival. I was just thinking, you know, so many years ago, you and I met. Yeah. And uh, um, so much of the music was about the social conditions then. And, uh, and right now we have conditions that, that definitely need to be paid attention to. Yeah. People need to vote, you know. Uh -huh. We need to see another 50 years from now mm -hmm. uh, uh, where we can be proud of the fact that we participated in the activity mm -hmm. that makes sure or helps to ensure that we make the kind of America that we want to live in and we want our children to live in. Right, and, and our planet, oh, the whole, yeah. including the whole planet. So, you know, um, I heard something, uh, uh, somebody talking about the uh, secession uh, notion of seceding somewhere in Carolina oh, yeah. to, to, to get people to <laughs> go a certain, in a certain direction. Mm. Uh, and and uh, I was thinking like, in the next 50 years, how about the next 50, 51 states? <laughs> uh. <laughs> like, you know, so, so people can uh, uh, actually, wouldn't it be funny if you had it ended up in, in 25 years from now with maybe 25 states <laughs> Cause, cause of, a, oh, yeah. of, a, of grand secession? I mean, you know, or Exodus, or something like pe that? People can't imagine how much of a role they, they really play in how things go. I mean, I mean we, we could use this, for example, okay, we got the Newport Jazz Festival. Yeah. And who would have known? How could we have known that we'd actually be here that they haven't played this, this, this place many, many, many times? And um, um, it's still here, we're still here. But people don't know the kind of effect that they can have on, on the world. They, they think they don't make a difference. Right. They make a huge difference, you know. But that difference has to be reflected in, in, in taking advantage of, of, of the freedoms that, that we have. I mean, we have the right to vote, even if it's all, all, not always counted yeah, yeah, correctly. Right, right. Right? And, uh, and also, um, this whole thing about, I call it like, uh, like Imagination, to be able to imagine beyond the, the commercial confines of, uh, of uh, the kind of conditioning that, that's been going on. I say conditioning since the advent of radio and everything like that. At least the close to 100 years, 75 years, or 85 years of, yeah. of uh, conditioning, which um, uh, uh, leaves the imagination uh, you know, uh, bare. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that the imagination room is empty. Uh, so uh, there are people outside of the sphere of the United States who have all that latitude of imagining things, uh, what, how to do things or everything because of their uh, uh, agendas, uh, you know, which, uh, you know, and all that. If we don't have the, the imagination in art, music, uh, theater, cinema, and, and poetry, and, and like in America, you know, we need more poetry and, and visual arts and everything. Uh, uh, I think most of the people who go to, to, to see uh, paintings in America may be tourists from other countries, mm. or maybe, you know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, no, I, or I maybe it might be half and half, but uh, uh, if we don't have the uh, imagination room uh, fully supplied, uh, there may be some dire mornings. We wake up to some some gray clouds that uh, you know. Uh, we all might have to be like uh, cramming as for a final exam. <laughs> <laughs> cramming, yeah, yeah. cramming to, to you know. And we and America's pretty good at cramming. If we have to cram, it's better to cram <laughs> than to scram. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know. guys, you guys but, are two prime examples of people with amazing imaginations, and you keep feeding it. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, I think, you know, the concept, and I've heard you say this many times, Wayne, possibilities, that word itself already just conjures up an, an, an openness, you know, which, I mean, I mean, this is one of the things that, that Wayne is, is, that I'm getting out of what you're saying, is that, is that, that in America, now, there seems to be 
um, there seem to be forces that are encouraging the stifling of possibilities. That doesn't sound like the America that I know. You know, where's the America that I know, that I came from, the America that, 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 uh, that I always believed in when I was a kid and I, as I started to grow older? I want to see, see that America, and I want to see that America evolve. There's a lot of work to be done, and I, I think it's the people here that need to do that. And, and it's not just paying attention to America. I mean, we have to pay attention to the rest of the world. If, you know, Im imagination is something that emerges from, from um, um, a, a comp compassion, you know, for not only your own individual life, because you're not on this planet alone. I mean, we live together, not just as Americans, but um, America represents in, in, in such a strong sense the whole world, because who's here? You know, descendants of everyone from all, of, all over the planet, no matter how we got here. The point is, we have ties everywhere. Now, where's the attention to that part of the greatness of America? That's, that's what I'd like to see, and expand that into to looking into the, the home that we live in. This is our, our planet. Our planet's our home. Why don't we sign the Kyoto Protocol? You know, why don't we sign that? And the mm -hmm. thing's a mystery to me, I mean, yeah. unless the whole thing is about oil. Yeah. You know. Or de desensitizing. You know. you know. Or the whole thing's about money. So, so you can, you can uh, slam dunk, you can uh, uh, bash sensitivity. Bash, let's, let's all bash some sensitivity, <laughs> and then we can be fully desensitized. Uh, you know. Yeah. I, I and uh, that but I know that, that that word can be put in a context and taken out of context and, you know, move things around. If, the, if you use that, the, what do you call it, the, the uh, courtroom uh, the play that lawyers do in courtrooms, mm -hmm. and it seems like there's a lot of people speaking on television, and they, it's almost like we listen to them like music, you know, and they're, the, all of the politicians are talking, and they're uh, as if they're speaking to the American public as if we're the jury, and they want to make us go mm. this way, and that way, and that way, you know. And, uh, and instead of a guilty or not guilty thing, it's like who do you want to, who do you want to represent you as a, a leader of the country? So uh, when we play like we play, uh, people just call it out. And Orne Coleman went on before us, and he's avant-garde. They used to call him avant-garde, but now the, the category has no name. Um, we hope sometimes that what we play. Uh, resides somewhere, stays with the, the people who are bombarded with what we call commercial music most of the time, mm. which will inspire them to think, decide, investigate for themselves. Because I say, I like, to, I like this phrase, I say, if, if uh, popular music and commercial music is, is, is so embraced by so many, you know, the, the major uh, amount of people around the globe, why is everybody so sick? If, if pop if music has medicinal uh, pre, uh, uh, properties and people embrace the most kind of music that they're in, a, a comfort zone and all that stuff, why is the world so ill? Yeah, with fear. Mm -hmm. you know? But I, I've seen a major progress uh, uh, move along in civilization when, in the, like the turn of the century, when Eric Satie and uh, Debussy and Ravel and all that, and the, the, the French Six and everything. They were, the new music was coming with Gershwin, and there was a lot of thought and a lot of, uh, you know, that was like, between wars, you have a chance to, to uh, art moves. The, the, the artistic uh, potential of every individual, I'm talking about the art of living too, uh, the art of uh, uh, yeah. shoemaking, the art of building a great car. The yeah. art of they even shut down Tucker. Mm. <laughs> they shut down the art. Yeah. Like, Let's shut them down. The Morganization of America. J.P. Morgan, dig it? <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> let me go in my library. Don't, bring my, don't me, let me bring my library, library out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's... So, so, music, it's a reflection. Uh, like Miles used to say, you see the way Humphrey Bogart walked across the room? He told he was talking to a young musician. See where Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart walked across the room? The way he walked, he said, play that. Mm. 
like Chopin, they told him, you better come on. You, Chopin was late, and then his, his uh, mentor said, come on, you got to play about, the, you know, about Poland and being taken over. Then he finally played that. It, you know, I was just thinking about the. So we have to play the future. The idea of, of, of borderless covers a lot of ter territory. Dig it. Yeah. It's not just lines drawn between, you know, apples and oranges. It's, that's right. It's a whole lot. It takes a whole thing, lot more that's, dimensions. That's, than that's that. the last thing that, uh, Ray Charles said. We asked him, about, "How do you? How did somebody ask Ray Charles? How do you cross the, the, the country western line, the boundaries and all that? How do you do that?" And he said, if you love music, I say, uh, uh, if you love music, <laughs> and he went on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, oh. We, we try, we, we, within our vision, you know, when we play, you know, that, the idea of, of, of being borderless is, is uh, you know, that's kind of, in the, in the back of my, my being, you know, uh, transcending borders. But in order to do that, you have to have a sense that borders are confinement, you know. And if we really want to move into the 21st century, we have, it's necessary to, to use the concept of, of, of doing what we can to, to ensure uh, and to promote the, the idea that outside of whatever borders we were taught existed in the past are, some, are many things that we should be interested in. And, 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 and as we begin to understand that they are also, all those things that are outside of those borders are part of, of, of us, you know, and to take advantage of that to, to, to to explore the kind of possibilities that we're capable of exploring. We have to do what, what we can to, to encourage that in ourselves and, and, and in others. And so I think it's really time, particularly for America, to wake up to the fact that, that we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have anything to fear if we didn't make enemies. When we were kids, didn't you used to have, did you have fights when you were kids? Maybe you didn't. I didn't have that many. But with kids, they used to fight. But as you get older, you don't fight so much. I never had but, a fight. But, yeah, because you, you learn. You never had one, see, which, which is great. You know? Also, when I was a kid, they didn't mess with musicians either when I was a kid. They thought I was weird. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't know. they said, we don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> yeah, but, but, you, but you, you learn to you learn to be inclusive. Right, right. But, but, but also, they, when they said I was weird and they don't know what I was going to do, was the, the fact that they couldn't categorize me as a target. Like, hey, he's, he, hey wait a minute. Wait, yeah, you know, like oh, that. Oh, right. Because people say, he's crazy, you know. He, he, he's quiet crazy. <laughs> Too many possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, Wayne was already promoting the idea of possibilities right there. He was an example of it. All right, great. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Yeah, okay. I, think, I think we're done. You got in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was trying to, because I, I was like, Wayne was looking back this way, so sometimes I would do this way to get his face forward. <laughs> All right, thanks. And right now we have conditions that, that definitely need to be paid attention to. Yeah. People need to vote, you know. Uh -huh. We need to see another 50 years from now mm -hmm. uh, uh, where we can be proud of the fact that we participated in the activity mm -hmm. that makes sure or helps to ensure that we make the kind of America that we want to live in and we want our children to live in. Right, and, and our planet. Whole, yeah. Including the whole planet, so you know, um, I heard something. Uh, uh, somebody talking about the uh, secession. Uh, no. Yeah, it's great to to be here in order to to celebrate 
the 50th anniversary of the Newport Jazz Festival. And I was just thinking, you know, so many years ago, you and I met. Yeah. And uh, um, so much of the music was about the social conditions then. And, uh, Wouldn't it be funny if you had it ended up in, in 25 years from now with maybe 25 states <laughs> of, of, oh, yeah. of, of grand secession? I mean, you know, or Exodus or something like pe that? People can't imagine how much of a role they, they really play. Pollution of seceding somewhere in Carolina oh, yeah. to, to, to get people to you know, go a certain, in a certain direction. Mm. Uh, and and uh, I was thinking, like, if in the next 50 years, how about the next 50, 51 states? <laughs> uh. <laughs> like, you know, so, so people can uh, uh, actually 